So what if you were paying the bills, making the dinner, doing the laundry, and playing house, but didn't have a title, and you found out the guy you want to be with slept with his ex? Well, that's Marina's story. And now she is here to unlock her man's phone to get the truth and to maybe get that title. So everyone, please welcome Marina to the show. Hi, Marina. How are you doing? May I have a Hi. Hug? Yes. Nice to meet you. You too. All right, so Marina. Yes. So why aren't you and Kasim, your man, mm -hmm. right? Official. That's a good question. <laughs> Probably <laughs> one that you should ask him. Mm. Um, but in honesty, he just has bad commitment issues, I guess. Yeah. Do you guys live together? We do. Okay. How long have you been to get living together? Two months, two and a half months. Two months. And you've been together for one year. Yes. So why are you here today? Um, cause I'm mad. I'm angry. Mm -hmm. Um, the same, this, you know, the same conversation keeps happening and we walk in circles and it's going nowhere at this yeah. point. So how did you find out that he was hooking up with his ex? Um, I'm a little bit of an FBI detective. Okay, so well. I did my own stalking, um, and I went on Facebook and I was looking through things and I got nosy and was stalking pictures and like old posts and just saw someone who was of concern. So I went out of my way and I messaged her. Mm. And, you know, things became very clear after that. What did that feel like in that moment for you to find someone that you love knowing that they were sleeping with their ex? Uh, it's like a pit in your stomach almost. Like your heart imagine. drops. Yeah. Because you don't expect that. Like you, you think that like everything's okay one minute and then you just turn around and it just like, poof, like explodes so right in your face. So what do you want from Kasim? Something, like anything, communication, like I want to know what he wants because I'm, I'm tired of being the only one saying anything. So outside of him cheating with his ex, which is a big one, why don't you trust him? Because there's other little things that like led up to it. There's Tinder for one, Facebook dating, um, other girls that he messages out of like anger. Was Kasim remorseful when you, he knew you found out about his ex? When I found out about her and that they were still talking, they, they both brushed off as like, we're just friends. Like it's like nothing to be of concern about. Like don't, don't be nervous. Did you talk to this girl again? Oh, I did. We, I kept like a kind of like a close eye on her. She was honest at, at first, I thought. Um, and then one day she texted me and she was like, I have something to tell you. She invited me over, but I, I didn't go. And then later that day, he came up to me and was like, I made a mistake and I invited her over and I slept with her. Mm. And so it was like, like two betrayals in once almost. So do you and Kasim talk about your future? I do. I try to at least. And then anytime like I try to dig something out of him, it's like a, like a wall. Do you still go through his phone? I try very hard not to because like I want to establish that trust and that like level of privacy and respect. But when you aren't reassuring me the way I need it, I mean, I'm a girl. I mean, I'm pretty sure all the other girls can like attest, but it, it get, it's there sitting in front of you. You get tempted and you just- Guys do it too. I say, it. It's not just women. <laughs> Guys do it too. Because I don't like doing that. I don't want to have to feel like I don't trust you and how like you get a text message and I'm like, like, I don't want to do that. Like, yeah. I want to feel comfortable and secure. And if I'm doing that, if I'm going through your phone, I'm not feeling okay. I'm not feeling secure. Well, let's meet Kasim and hear what he has to say about all this. Kasim, come on out. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah. I feel what you're saying and everything, but I really don't want to be painted as the bad guy, and I want you to express, like, the good things that we have together. Like, like but our com we, we do We do have good things, and I'm not, like, overlooking any of that, but there are other things that need to be addressed that are important and crucial, like, along with the good parts. Like the status of girlfriend, boyfriend? Yeah, why won't you put a title on your relationship? I feel like a title starts... If you put it as a title, title, it starts to make it real and it can be turned off like, oh, you're my girlfriend, now you're not my girlfriend. When I feel like we should just be content with what we, what we have because you I'm have not, everything I'm not else. I'm not content. I'm not content though. You have everything else but a little sign that says girlfriend. Hold on, the math ain't math in there. Do you not think what we have is real? You, you, what, we, we have, what we have is real. We, I'm with you 24 seven. I'll let you move in with me. I'm obviously, I don't, I don't want to be forced into a relationship, but that kind of, Jump started it in and a that's, way. That's great, but that was like that was like the same mentality you had a year ago. It's time to grow up. Not. I Are you still into your ex? No, not at all. But I, 
it's like the first uh, date I was like her first relationship kind of thing I was in. I Did she break in, your heart? I, I'd I'd say so, and that's why probably why I don't like to get into other relationships because. So it's your ex was your first real relationship. How yeah. long were you two together? A year or two. So now the math is mathing to me. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. So you're in a relationship that you want to be in. She didn't fully. Yeah. She left you, and so now you're projecting that onto her. I guess so. I didn't think about it like that. But yeah, I did the math. Like yeah, there yeah. we go. So are you afraid of being in this relationship because of that? I'm afraid of commitment for sure, I'd say. I just feel like I'm being, if I'm in a relationship, I feel like I'm being controlled and I limited. I want to real language. You're not afraid of commitment. You're afraid of being hurt. Mm. I'd say so. You not giving me that commitment hurts me. Do you see that? But I am committed to you by being with you every day, caring for you, like And that's talking. great, but I can do that for like, like no offense, but I could do that for, for my cat. Like I can be there for my cat and support my cat. I need, I need you, I need you to give me the validation when I need it. I need you to be my man, my rock, like not just someone I'm with right now. I like, feel like I am that, but you just want to put this title on it for everyone else rather than for us. It's for me. The title is for me, for me to feel safe, for me to feel like I'm heard. It's not for everyone else. I don't care. I care about my feelings and what I need, and I need you to commit. And if I'm telling you that's what commitment is to me, give it to A me. A word? Yes. So if, if from your point of view, Christine, if you're afraid of commitment, why did you let her move in? Uh, with the new year, all, all these rents were being raised and whatnot, and hers was mm -hmm. being raised as well a lot, and it just made sense for us to kind of move in, and I didn't think that would take away so much of my, like, alone time, I guess, mm -hmm. but it did. But you know what? You would have so much more alone time if you could validate me and reassure that I can trust you, and I want to trust you. You think this is easy for me to just come home and, like, you get messages and I'm just, like, leaning over? I don't want to do that. I don't want to have to to want to go through exactly. your phone. Exactly, I feel like you should trust me and not have to go so, through my phone. So let me, like literally, get, when I'm Why asking don't you, you trust for, because you, you cheated, you messed up, you broke me. And now there's no moving past that. There is if you try. If you want time yourself, you need to earn that. You need to earn my trust back. Does it bother you that she goes through your phone? Yeah, it's so much I had to change my password uh, mm -hmm. a few weeks ago. So he will go on to Instagram and like, girls and their whole butt out, all like in lingerie, but when it's coming up onto my feed and they're people I know and I'm telling you, don't like this person, I don't wanna see that come up on my feed, mm -hmm. and you do it anyway, you're dis disregarding all of my feelings. Me so, liking that picture isn't hooking up with the girl or... I don't the, care. Like, I'm telling you it makes me uncomfortable because I see that stuff on my feed. That, and that is respect. If I'm the one that you want, if I'm the one you love, and this one thing, can make me feel better, then why is it so hard for you to do it? So I just can't be liking any picture. I, that's a controlling thing for me. I, oh, but you I'm can't not like this saying you can't now like, like it. I'm, I'm asking controlled. you certain people. Hold on one second, I want to know this. Kasim, do you feel like you're giving her false hope? No, but I feel like she has more hope than I can give. Okay, that's, that's honest. Why does her job bother you? Because I kind of feel like it's a double standard with, oh, you can't like this girl's Instagram picture. You can't do that you can't even look at this girl this way when your job consists of dancing on men and it's like I'm not saying oh don't don't do that or whatnot you know what I mean okay and I okay to a degree though like for one you knew you knew what I, my job before and you knew I didn't want together. a relationship or anything before we got together I, that was the first thing I told you and you never told me to quit my job I told you plenty exactly, of times because I'm fine with where we're at and I'm not why does it matter about what? I think I think what we got to do before we can get any further with this is we need to get to these unlock the phone results. So Kasim, we unlocked your phone. All right, let's get to the results. So we looked at Kasim's phone. When it came to applications, we searched for anything that could be shady, suspicious, that could look like you're in interaction with anybody else. We found two apps. What? The first one was Tinder, which was last logged in on February 20th. The second one is IG, and this, we did this one because it was a concern of yours. And IG, on IG, he unblocked his ex in December. Which you know about. December, no, I didn't know about December. You said that you, did, you unblocked it to go in when we got into that fight in literally yeah. the beginning of March. That's 
March and December, they're not the same months. <laughs> they aren't. They aren't. They aren't. No. Okay. That's lie number one. All right. Um, so when it came to photos, we found five nude photos from five different women. Those Can I get the evidence old. back? Good Please, job. let me see the evidence, because... Yeah, I would love to see the evidence back, too. Thank you so much. Yeah, these got to be old. Do they have dates on them? Oh, those look like the... Stop talking. All right. <laughs> Those look like what? The, the spam Snapchat things that you get, like the... But they're saved. But if they're they, not if they were spam... This one's me. Okay. Those are not <laughs> saved. Okay. <laughs> now, the last thing, when it came to text, we found 15 text messages that were suspicious. But these were something that I went back and had my team and the investigator find, and it's between you two. Ooh. So if I can go back through the messages, this is what you said, correct? You're in the blue? So I saw this one. This is the one that was most sad. You're explaining a whole lot of things that you want, and his response is? Okay. Okay. I don't like to get all talky, talkative about. You're a grown man. At the end of the day, if you want someone, and if you're, if you have, if you're risking losing me, and your response is, okay. You're yeah, pretty dismissive a, of how you talk to her. Yes. That was a very, that was an angry moment we had. So here we go right here, because you came here, you want my advice. Yes. You want answers, we've given you answers. He's clearly telling you what you want and you don't want to believe it. I know, and that, that's the worst part because I, I can see that. Like I'm sitting here and I'm watching my conversation with him and I'm sitting here like he's blatantly telling me like and showing me that he does not want something long term and I'm like breaking your arm and leg just to get some but kind honestly, of emotion. I'm trying towards that if we're living together and everything. Like, that doesn't I mean anything. I, you can just walk up and be like, go sleep with someone and be like, oh, but you weren't my See, girlfriend. See, the problem for me but right now, the problem you. right now for me How is that the truth of the matter is the title is not going to help you at all. No, it's not. The title is not going to help you. What's going to help is the fact that this is a man that's telling you he can't give you what you want. Why is it so hard for you? It Why? doesn't matter. Hold on, sister, I got to help you out. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If a man tells you a million times he's not going to give you what you want, you can go in a circle and a circle till you're blue in the face asking him, why not, why not? But you're going to get the same answer. So you have to do yourself a favor and start to practice your self-esteem to a place where you can, when he tells you something, you say, well, then if you can't give me what I want, I'm worth more than that and I'm going to go somewhere else. It sucks. It sucks because I want to paint you. I would love to paint you as a bad guy, but you're not fully the bad guy. I only feel bad in a way of not giving you what you want, but it's like No, my... no, that's not why you're not the bad guy. You're bad guy. When I said you're not fully the bad guy, yeah. you did cheat with her on your ex. But the part where I'm saying that you're not fully the bad guy is because you're telling her, I can't give you what you want. And part of that is because you haven't healed from whatever relationship you were in. Mm -hmm. And you might love this woman, you might care for her, you might in your mind think I want to take the steps, but unfortunately until you heal from that relationship fully, when you unblock somebody, I've had exes, and I'll unblock them because you, once I'm done, I'm done. Yeah. I don't want to be with you, I don't want to see you. You clearly still want to be involved, whether it's through social media, you want to see her post. So you need to wake up. Sister, mm -hmm. you got to wake up. And I don't know what it is for you that's making you want to stay in this relationship, but you don't deserve this. You don't deserve this. He's telling you he cannot give you what you want. You say you want a title. If he gave you a title right now, I'd give you the same advice. Leave. This is not it. I think the best step for y'all to do is that when y'all leave here, y'all figure out that apartment situation and y'all separate. And you work on you and you work on you. All right? Good luck. I Thank wish you. you both the best of luck. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Hold up, hold up. Where are you going? I know you want to watch more Karamo, so click here to subscribe and click here to watch more so we can keep talking and growing, friends. I love you.